Good day everyone. This video demonstrates the process of inserting table. Okay, let's see the definition of table. A table is a grid of cells arranged into rows and columns. Tables can be customized and are useful for various tasks like presenting text information and numerical data. In this video, I'll be discussing the following, the process of inserting table, deleting table, formatting table, merging cells, and splitting cells. I'm going to demonstrate how to insert table in Microsoft Word. Let's start. To insert table in Microsoft Word, we are going to click the Insert tab. There you go. Here's the Insert tab. So we are going to click the drop-down arrow, and then we can see here a one-by-one. One. It depends on your preference, how many number of columns and rows you wish to apply. So if you want three columns and then uh, five rows, you just simply click here, yeah, like that. Okay, that's uh, one way. I'm going to delete and do it. So we can as well do it like this insert. You go to again here and then table, insert table. Let's say I want, I'm going to type, I want three columns and five rows. Right, I'm sorry, it's five rows. Quick. Okay, so let's add some content. Let's say content. We have first name, I full name, 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 your section, your section, and then street ID. Okay, so let's put some data here. Sorry, Monday. Sorry, Monday. Somebody data. And then student either 101 openings all Friday. And then we have So if you want to Let's say if you want to add more rows, you can do like this now. You can just simply press tab from the keyboard, or let's say if you want to insert more rows, you just highlight this, like that, large select, right click insert, and then rows above or below. Okay, if you want to go above or below, it's up to you. You choose above, okay. Dito natin siya makikita. Let's say row above, row above and below. And rows above a row. Okay, insert. Yeah, if you have above, of course it's above. Next, this is the same process in inserting columns. What you're going to do is to uh, select columns instead of rows. Okay, insert columns to the left or to the right. Let's say I want columns to the left. So there you go. One column is inserted, and I am going to add this as a mobile number. And then we just uh zero nine three three one eight eight blah 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 okay it just uh, encodes so this is the process of how well, you're going to insert table the next thing that i'm going to demonstrate is how are we going to improve the look and feel of a table that we inserted so you go here for table designs and then you select the design, and then there you go. If you don't like the design, another design, then that's it. You're discussing more about tables. So let's say, for example, you want to delete a particular row or column. So we select this row because I'm going to delete this row. Right click, and then uh, delete cells. So delete cells. Then entire row, of course, we're going to delete it. Same process if we are going to delete table. So we select this, right click, delete, and then entire column. So there you go, it's already deleted. The next uh, command that I'm going to demonstrate is the split and the merge. 
So let's say, for example, we insert a new table above the table that I created a while ago. Insert table. I have five columns. I have five columns and five by five table. It's a five by five table. So oh, we are going to merge this five tables. I have five columns rather into one column. So to do that, we select this. We right click. And then the following commands, commands rather will pop out, we select merge cell. So that's the purpose of merge. Merge meaning you're going to combine or join. You're going to join the uh, columns. So we're merging five columns into one. Okay. Next, I'm going to re-execute it again here. Let's see on this third row. This on the third row, I'm going to merge it again. Let's say merge. I am. So next, the next thing to do is I want only this one, this particular row. I'm going to divide that into three columns. So I'm going to do that. So right click again and then we click the split. So split cells. So we're going to split this into how many number of columns. Let's say I want three columns only. And then, of course, it's the same one row. There you go. Okay. So that's how we are going to use the merge command and the split command. Merge, you're going to join. A combine columns, okay. And then uh, split, meaning you are going to divide the columns. It depends on your preference. So I hope it's clear on your part, guys, the uh, purpose of merge cells and split cells. If this video helps you, kindly click the subscribe and thumbs up button. Thank you for watching. See ya.